Capsat 2018. In broadcast is here at the 24th MENA event, showcasing strategic, technical and creative organisations within the media industry. Hi, this is Kaylee Hewlett from In Broadcast, and I'm joined here by John McDonald from Nortel at CabSat 2018. So, John, tell me a little bit about Nortel. Good morning, Kaylee, and thanks for stopping by our booth today. Nortel was founded in 1959. It actually started in the nautical electronics business. We also have a division which handles uh, nautical navigation and aircraft, uh, airport navigation. But we've been very strong in the broadcast transmission business for quite a number of years. And that's where we focus on radio broadcast transmission. Now, what do you find happening within the region in the Middle East in the industry? Where we see a lot of opportunity in this area, which is really Middle East and Africa, let's say, is in medium wave right now. Uh, there have been some big developments with the company. We have just done a two megawatt transmitter in Hungary, which is the most powerful medium wave transmitter in the world. And there's some good projects opening up. There's also been some changes in the medium wave industry. The manufacturer base has shrunk a little bit, so the field has narrowed. And there are fewer competitors as compared to FM in the medium wave transmission. So that's really a, made a good opportunity for us. And it's a product that we have specialized in for many years. It really was the basis, it was the start of our broadcast uh, technology business was in medium wave. So we're very happy to continue with the development and really put these products at the, the cutting edge in terms of technology, features, reliability, and efficiency. Great, now what are the key challenges and opportunities that you find your customers facing? Well, of course, broadcast, uh, broadcast terrestrial transmission, of course, is a fairly mature industry. For instance, right here in the UAE, one of the main challenges for our customers is spectrum congestion. There just aren't that many FM transmitters left, or FM frequencies available to transmit on. Here, in particular, in the UAE, there are a lot of high-power FM transmitters which target Dubai as the main market. So I think in the future, customers are going to be, have to be looking at uh, new technology solutions like single frequency networking, uh, gap filling FM techniques, and things like that. And also as the FM uh, band fills up, they're going to have to be looking also at medium wave, which now has a very good quality audio product, and so that'll be a good solution for them in the future. In addition, there are opportunities with digital broadcast transmission, which we're very much involved in ourselves, both DRM and HD radio. So. We're excited about that. What does the future hold for Nortel? Well, uh, diversification, I think, is going to be an important part. And that's something for customers in the broadcast transmitter market to think about very carefully is uh, company stability and sustainability. So broadcast transmission, terrestrial transmission, certainly it is a mature market. And we have very good RF technology, which we're looking at applying in new ways, industrial, scientific, and we're having some good success in that area. And that contributes to the sustainability and the strength, the financial strength of the company. Very important point for making decisions in the future. Good stuff. Now finally, where can people go to find out some more information? They can go to www.nautel.com. And we have a very complete website with lots of webinars and videos and uh, white papers. Uh, there's even an RF uh, propagation tool that you can sign up for and use. So there will be lots of information on the website. Fantastic. Thank you so much, John. And again, thank you, Kaylee, for stopping by today and to all our customers for coming to visit us over here at CAPSAT. There you go. That's www.nortel.com. This is Kaylee Hewlett and John McDonald coming to you from CAPSAT 2018.